Hello and welcome back to Ticket Space with me, James Yes. Today, I'm finally going to get around to building... Oh my god, look at those terribly loaded chunks. This bridge is going to be an awesome suspension bridge. I don't know what I'm going to do with that stair bit there. I guess just follow the same design. I don't know. But between here and... Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a time lapse. Um, hopefully it'll follow the design. Um, I got the design from the the Minecraft Builder's Handbook. Um, and hopefully you'll like it. I mean, what's going to make this difficult is one, that I'm not doing it in creative mode. Which means, in order to build up the su support structures and stuff, I'm going to have to create a layer of dirt over this river, because otherwise, well, it's going to be a right pain in the backside. Um, basically because that's water and water is annoying so without further ado I will get started with my time lapse um, and let's just get stuck straight into the design so how do you build a bridge where do you start that is the question to be honest stock up that's my first tip never underestimate the power of dirt Without dirt, this build would have been pretty much impossible. Um, dirt compensates for the fact that you can't fly like you can in creative mode. You use dirt to, as like scaffolding really, um, then you can take it away afterwards. Um, what I was doing here was just lining the path with wood, wooden planks. This was similar to a design that I copied, but hopefully you can just copy this design. Um, so I was lining it with wood, which was a vent, which eventually became lined with fences, and was, well, to be honest, the safety and, well, I just thought it looked a bit better, you know. Um, so now that that's done, it's time to start doing the real work. I thought I'd line a big line of cobblestone as like struts that would eventually lead to be the main support and yeah the bed <laughs> yep okay so I sort of cotton on something here move the bed is another tip if you're doing a big build um, and you just want to crack on with it and work on it without interruptions i.e. monsters appearing all over the place make sure you've got a bed nearby um, I didn't really cotton, see quite a lot of these tips I only picked up myself later on. Obviously if you're building in creative you don't have to worry about that. And look, here you go, this is me using um, dirt to defy gravity and just to build up the... Um... Oh, to, I'm not going to lie, this was incredibly, incredibly tedious um, and awkward, but like, I don't know, I did... I didn't record it all in one, like, go. I did, like, a little bit each day. Otherwise, like, it just would have been too boring. And I would have just got fed up with it. That's me, like, destroying the dirt afterwards. And, yeah, that was me realising the error of my ways of having the bed too far away. Eventually, I realised that, actually, why don't I just keep the bed with me? The thing is, if you place a bed and sleep in it, as the sun sets, before it gets dark, before mobs spawn, um, it doesn't really, then it doesn't matter where you put it because there's no monsters to stop you from sleeping, if that makes sense. So you're pretty much safe as long as you get that bed down quick enough and get sleeping in it. I found the same sort of thing with the crafting table. Obviously I had a tree farm that I set up especially for all the wood that I knew that I would need for this build project. And there's that old tree capitator trip. If you plant all the saplings like block in a big block together, when you then knock them down with tree capitator, it just knocks out all the trees and you'll see that in a minute. Oh, that was me hitting the microphone with my mug. Yeah, occasionally um, I just sort of pause to sort of think and to sort of visualise what I was going to do. I used these um, sort of wooden support struts. Um, this bit was a little more complicated. I had to think about this a bit more. Um, 
but eventually I decided to just go for a straight like diagonal line leading upwards and all of this these were purely um, these wooden block bits were just sort of decorative more than anything else um, see what I mean like that arch it's I wanted like an arched bridge so in theory like boats and stuff could get underneath and just because I thought it looked pretty cool to be honest like I said purely decorative um, pain in the backside to do but again all the gravity defying stuff was sorted with dirt and there was me <laughs> that was me running into the house like an idiot thinking that the bed was in there forgetting that I'd actually moved it closer that's me uh, doing what I said earlier about the trees um, I think there were some bits that I genuinely just forgot to hit record but you get the idea I pretty much repeated the same process but running into the mountain. The exact sort of um, design of how these arches were going to go was sort of improvised. But I think, I don't know, you'd be surprised that um, you don't have to manic, mat, manic, meticulously plan everything. Um, basically what I wanted to do was, I thought it looked a bit bare, so I thought I'd add a second decorative uh, strut running above the first which meant repeating the same process, but like a few blocks higher up. Again, using dirt. But it, this was a bit annoying because it meant that then there was loads of dirt kind of in the middle that I had to get rid of, but I knew that eventually I'd have to get rid of it because I was going to fill all the gaps in with fences. So yeah, I, I remember this bit being really boring because it was for each side, I just had to repeat the same thing and Obviously, like, this is madly sped up. Um, this is, like I say, a couple of hours of just faffing around. That's just me looking and thinking, like, hmm, what should I do next? Um, where am I at? Where am I at now? Was it, f yeah, fence time. Okay, so now I'd, I'd built these basic support struts. When I think about it, the design was actually really simple. So it's just to have those um, arches and then just fill it all in with fences. And um, I thought it would look pretty cool. And to be honest, I'm quite happy with it, how, how it turned out in the end. Um, you'll see that at the end of the video, obviously. Um, so yeah, simple in design, just very tedious and a lot of effort and a bit tricky to actually do. But I think like, in a way, that makes it more impressive. Um, because people are like, how the hell did he build that? Man, that's crazy. Because um, it's a purely survival server, so... I love doing impressive builds in survival mode. Because, you know, it, you know, all the resources, time and design went into it. And it's a lot more rewarding than just... Uh, flying about having unlimited stuff to build cool stuff. Building cool stuff kind of with semi semi realism is a lot better I think. So yeah that's exactly what this was all about. So there's me just zooming away getting all those fences in and they were a pain. They were just as a uh, monotonous and boring and it, more expensive to make than just the wood blocks. Um, I kept running out having to jump off and replace them again. Oh god, it, it's a bit of an eyesore actually, all this zooming around. But I hope you roughly follow what's going on here. Look, you can see it's starting to take shape. At this point I was like, oh god, I've just spent flipping ages doing all these fences and I've barely got anywhere. That's me like murdering a skeleton at super speed. Um, but I was like, yeah, I must, I must keep pushing on. What I did was I just did a little bit each day like maybe half an hour and then over time like you end up with an awesome bridge I think that's the best way to approach big builds um, because you're just going to get fed up if you s literally sit and power out the whole thing and you're going to end up like compromising on quality um, is that just one side done? see this is what I mean like I just 
literally filled in one side and then I literally had to repeat the process all over again on the other side which again took forever but it's not taking forever for you guys obviously because this is massively sped up um, now, as you can see, look, an, up, an end of another session. That was probably another day completely. And this is where I cottoned on to the fact that I could pick up my bed and keep it with me and then just plop it down whenever it got dark before all the nasties appeared. And so that I didn't have to keep running back and forth to the bed when I was like, in the middle of the building. Especially if I've used the dirt to climb up. I've then had to knock down that dirt structure. Oh, it's a pain. Keep your beds with you. That's, that's one of my tips. Also keep a crafting table with you so that you, and I think that's, oh no, I hadn't quite cottoned on to that yet. Um, see what I mean? Plop the bed, sleep, get up back on the building. Oh no, no, I was carrying a crafting table with me. I know with the power suits you can get what is essentially a portable crafting table, uh, but I haven't done, I haven't got into power suits yet. I've got a few more big builds to do first, and then we're going to get back into all the technical stuff. Um, the final and main big build, which is going to be the probably the most. It'll probably take the longest to make, um, but will hopefully also be the most awesome, and that's the launch center. I mean, we're launching to space. I mean, we we can't just. I mean, we could just literally launch from our farm, but I just don't think it's epic enough. I think we need to have like a big epic like space center to launch from. Um, and that's exactly what I plan to do and hopefully like I mean that'll be of my own design this was inspired by uh, like I said the builders handbook fire UK look up look them up they do so many amazing buildings and have given me loads of design ideas in the past um, so yeah I was kind of just yeah copying their design but doing my own kind of version with it like you take the basics of the way they do it and then kind of adapt it to your own needs and to what you think's right. So yeah, it's quite creative in a way. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Fences, 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 more bloody fences. Um, like I said, very, especially as I kept like double placing. Oh, fucking double placing. I hate it so much. And this was me like, hmm, is it finished? And now there seems to be a month. That lag came across even in super speed, so that shows just how laggy that was. Um, bedtime. Dinner time. What am I making? Oh, making more fences. More fences. The amount of fences I actually ended up making was just ridiculous. Just using the dirt to get back up there again. Oh, it... It wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be, but it was still a pain in the ass. But at the end of the day, I'm quite happy with what I've built. It will hopefully stand the test of time. And now, forever, there will be a monument of my hard work and time wasted. <laughs> time wasted being the main one. But the thing is, it was only like half an hour a day. Like, people look at that and be like, oh, no life whatsoever. But like, really just do a little bit a day like and you, you don't lose a lot of time or you could say this is proof that even if you do play just a little bit a day you still lose a ton of time on the whole so yeah this was me then putting the fences in for the second layer which was a lot trickier so I had to use dirt a lot more just to get up and into it. Yeah, this was just a lot trickier. And probably took longer than doing like the big fancy bit. But then eventually I clocked onto the fact that the fences don't take up a whole block of space. So you can be, you can stand on the wooden struts and place the fences down. Just me getting rid of the dirt, putting more fences. That's pretty much like the, the whole method for this. And look, I think it's really cool in, in a time lapse just seeing it all spring up, all spring to life. Look at it grow. It just, it just went from nothing to this like awesome suspension. Well, I like it anyway. 
haters gonna hate. Um, I think still doing fences and clearing dirt. Um, that's pretty much the the main. That's probably what I spent most of my time doing, to be honest. Like the main structure is in place. Um, it was just getting all these freaking fences in. It was a pain. And getting rid of all that f dirt that I needed to build like, the main structure anyway. <sighs> God, it's even tedious watching it back. Not that I discourage doing this because now I have a really awesome bridge. So, well, I like it. May not be awesome by like master builders standards but this is not bad for a survival mode bridge uh, and I hope to create much more impressive builds in the future and also I mean I kind of did build it from the ground up but most of it was above ground um, and I guess the point I was making here was that you don't need to be able to fly in creative mode and use creative mode to build sort of gravity defying structures you don't have to be restricted to the from the ground up sort of design even though they the main points of the bridge are sort of originate from ground points but hey it's fine just collecting more wood the amount of trees that were killed in the making of this i'm not going to downplay it many trees were harmed in the making of this bridge oh look this is a good sign this, this looks like me uh Clearing up the supports needed. I think I think we're almost getting there. I think at this point the um, the main bridge was done, like or at least I was happy with it. It was just um, all the bits around the side, yeah, like building up the fences to go on the top that I previously mentioned. Also, yeah, just making millions of fences because apparently I didn't have enough already. God, I wonder how many fences I actually ended up using for this. A lot. Like I said, many trees were harmed. Donate me. I grew them all back. It's sustainable farming. It's green. It's eco-friendly. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is just me building up kind of the rest of the bridge. The, the bridge approach, I guess. But it's also kind of part of the bridge. Then I, yeah, I had the fences and I was like... I might as well fix that creeper damage properly. At this stage, I was like, okay, so what next? And this is when I was considering um, building a sort of arch running over the top of it. But I think in the end, I decided against it. This was me just sort of um, filling in a creeper hole. Um, just making this look all like, all part of the structure, really. Rather than it just being floaty slabs like the rest of it. I thought I'd uh, fill in all the sides, make it all prim, prim and proper and all that. Um, this is probably the easiest bit. De oh, well, apart from the rain causing quite a bit of lag. Fucking rain. Why did you make it lag so much? I don't get it. Why? Um, and yeah, just sleeping in a wall as you do running around like a nutter. I'm not even sure what I was doing here. All oh, right, I was doing the fences. I, think, I guess I must have finished that other bit. It didn't look finished to me, but whatever. Um, then I, I guess I was kind of happy with that. Pointless cobblestone block. Then I was like, okay, I'll come look at this bit. And I was like, oh, for God's sake, there's still so much yet that I haven't done. Yeah, I remember being kind of put off by this bit and temporarily forgetting the actual design of the bridge itself. Not gonna lie, I didn't completely finish this part. Because, look, look, look how high up that is, and look how much effort it would have been to build the wall up around that post. But I think it looked okay as it was. So I just left it. I mean, it's supported, it looks fairly legit. Uh, I didn't have enough torches to light the whole bridge up. I thought. Maybe in the future I'll probably add like um, some proper lighting. We 
had a lamppost and stuff running across bridge. it. I think that could oh be quite cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, just to give it Look a bit at it. It's done. I never thought I'd actually finish the bridge. It's done. It's done exactly how I wanted it to look. Uh, and if the castle would load behind it, um, you'd see that it's a nice feature. It all mixes together quite well, I think. I think um, the designs really complement each other. I was going to have like a proper suspension style bridge, you know, with the bits that go up. But I thought that would um, distract from the actual like towers of the castle itself. Um, I want this to be flat and then just to have these dominating towers sticking out of the mountain. Um, so yeah, I like how it is. What I might do is add some sort of uh, lanterns or something up there, like running across it, just to light it up a bit. Um, so that's it. That's this bridge done. Build project number one done. What took me... Well, it was spread out over four days, but probably a few hours to build this. And I did it without creative. It looks like something you'd need creative mode to build, but thanks to an abundance of dirt, I was able to defy gravity and uh, get this thing looking nice and awesome. And to be honest, this inspires me personally to build other things that look like they should only be built in creative. In survival, just to show that it can be done, even though it takes more effort. Um, but I think that makes them more impressive on a survival world. Because it's like, Jesus, wow, this that's an impressive... Like, people come on, they're like, wow. Especially if they see that it's been built in survival. I don't know. You know, that lab it becomes more of a monument. It has more meaning as a monument because I labored a way to build it. Um, and hopefully no one comes around and burns it down. Because... You'll probably get banned if you do that. Now, look, you can kind of see the towers behind it. I think it looks really cool. I mean, I might make improvements to it in the future, but yeah, otherwise I'm happy. So next time, I'll be moving on to my next build, which is probably going to be the Space Center. Or maybe I'll do that. Well, I have, I have a cool new bit of software to show you. It's very related to Tech It. Um, it involves this world. Um, power of satellite imaging yeah i'll show you that next time but until then take it easy this is james yes tech at space thanks for watching i hope you uh you got something out of watching me build this and i hope that you can build better because i still I, I think it could be better but i'm still I'm, I'm pretty happy with it i think it looks pretty cool and i think it fits that sort of um i think it fits the car sort of perfectly so, take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>